is that no matter what was put in front of us, we were going to go forward. I don't cook barbecue to make money. I cook barbecue to justify my life. Oof. This is a new series called The Restaurant Comeback. Features stories of small businesses overcoming the COVID-19 pandemic. And one of those restaurants is Dead End Barbecue in Knoxville. This is going to be, um, it's going to be on Amazon. And we are thrilled that owner George Ewart is here with us. So I'm turning to the big monitor. How you doing, George? I'm doing well. Thank you, Russell. I appreciate y'all having me in today. This is incredible. I've known you for years. I've known that you love. I knew you before you owned the restaurant. That's correct. Because you actually had a dead end barbecue, right? Yeah, we used to have a, a celebration at the end of our street. And that was the dead end barbecue and then the restaurant. Now, how did this whole series come about? How did how did they get in touch with you? You know, we got an email, I guess, sometime in uh, the end of July or, or, or end of June, the first part of July, and they asked us if we'd like to do an interview with them and be part of a series. And uh, so, so we, we kind of debated on it a while and we responded back and said, yeah, we, sure, we'd love to be part of whatever you all are doing to, to get the word out about restaurants. So we did a 40 minute interview with them. And um, next thing you know, two days later, they call me back and they said, hey, we selected you all as a barbecue series Incredible. Uh, for this. And uh, you know, they, they've, there's like, they're doing five uh, uh, restaurants right now. They're trying to get to the seventh. Um, and you know we are the only barbecue restaurant in the United States of America that they selected. That is unreal, George. And, and you mentioned you like it because it, it's doing stories of restaurants because it's not just about dead end barbecue. You love the fact that others are being spotlighted as well, right? Oh yeah, and and you know people don't realize you know when when governments come in and say hey you know we're going to shut you down or whatever what impact it really has on us and this story kind of tells it and uh you know just the supply chain disruptions that we had and and everything else that was going on in in our world at that time and uh you know we are fortunate this is a really uh, uh, uh odd part of the story was that uh Bush's beans as you see them um, they actually we, they selected us to be the barbecue people foodable did and uh, then Bush's bought the barbecue segment without knowing that we were even involved in the process that's incredible yeah so uh, it was just like you know this marriage it was perfect for us and and hopefully for them as well and I'm seeing so many people if you go to the restaurant you, you recognize the people in there how long did they, they follow you around and everybody there uh, they were there for three days filming um, they asked us to to be a, a a time that they could come in where we were having a lot of business which was football yeah. season it's really detrimental you know football sure. season for us is important and uh they came there and filmed uh the first missouri game so it was the uh first second and third of october incredible now when can we see this do we know yet Have yeah they announced it's, it? i don't they haven't given me the exact date but it's going to be sometime in january um the, I, I imagine probably toward the end of january uh, because nobody knows what's going on with you know where we are with restaurants right, now right. so um, well I, you're going to let us know so we can let everybody absolutely, know absolutely right. absolutely now, now yeah. speaking of football i noticed you have an enormous enormous ring on yeah and well, there's no way that thing's real well, no, yeah. I, I think it is russell <laughs> <laughs> now tell me about the ring <laughs> well i mean this is like our our middle school uh uh football championship ring you, you, know? you and jeff francis and even and even chavis have coached this team forever absolutely right? yeah yeah and we even had like todd scott and uh they don't know and, those people and, oh they don't yeah well of course <laughs> they don't you know and jed dance and but yeah so we uh we were able to we've been coaching i've been coaching youth football for uh gosh uh, 16 years with uh jeff and uh we're we've won some championships and so when and you win one you get too. the big ring oh yeah it was, funny is none crazy. of the players got that ring I no they all too. did they all did no they did <laughs> oh that's good all right George, thanks. Well, thank uh, hey, you, Russell. Hey, hang, hang on, all right? We yeah. want you to stick around because uh, did you know, George, that today is National Bacon Day? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Celebrated on December 30th. That's the awesome. The saying, George, is that everything is better with bacon. Not many dispute that claim. Uh, did you know that the United States and Canada, bacon is made from the pork belly. Elsewhere in the world, it's made from the side and the back cuts. You probably knew this, did you? Yes, sir. Did you really? Yes, sir. And th the meat is cured in a salt brine or in salt packs, uh, either dried, boiled, or smoked. So 
how to celebrate according to the founders of Bacon Day. We're encouraged to eat a variety of bacon while watching movies with Kevin Bacon. I don't know about that last part, George, but I'm all in for the bacon. How about you? Oh, me too, you know, and we got the best bacon in the United States of America uh, down the road, Benton's Bacon. Benton's Bacon. Awesome. We got a yeah. lot of good food choices and good people around here, yes. don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right, George, congratulations. Right, I appreciate and, you, And uh, have a great new year. I'm sure I'll see you, but happy new year to happy you. Happy new year to you.